Okay, here is a trick to save a ton of time when you're cutting lap siding going up a gable. So that would be pieces that have an angle on each side, but this would also work if you came from a corner to a roof where you had an angle on one side. Here's how it works. Let's assume that I have a six inch reveal and an 812 slope. So I set my scribes to my roof slope, 812. I make one mark on six pieces. So now I have six boards cut with angles on them. Now, I know that each piece is gonna get shorter by a certain amount going up. So if I trust the math, if I have a six inch reveal, I enter six inch rise, and then I enter the roof slope, which is an 812 in this case, eight inch pitch. When I click run, each piece gets nine inches shorter. So since I'm on a gable, it's gonna get shorter by nine and nine. So 18 inches. So here's how this works. I have already marked my cutting board every 18 inches. So I'm gonna take the whole stack and come right to the end of my board. I'm gonna do this rough to start out with, but basically what I'm doing is I'm spacing each of these 18 inches, but I've already marked my cutting board. Okay, so I make sure that they're nice and clean. So I'm, I'm on my mark, refine it a little bit on my mark, on my mark, etc., etc. Now, here's how this works. I take my number for the longest board that I currently have, and I measure the very first piece. So let's just say that that's 10 feet. I come down here and I mark 10 feet. That is my long point. So now, instead of making six cuts per side or 12 and measuring each one, I've made one measurement and two cuts.